Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our Microsoft Purview for Office 365 videos. In this video, we will be specifically going to talk about e-discovery solutions available for Office 365 or M365 mailboxes. Well, here is the agenda of our this video. So we're going to have a basic understanding about the e-discovery and what are the e-discovery solution we have and then what are the differentiate between e-discovery standard and premium what are the subscriptions or what are the plans required to run or required to use the specific e-discovery services like a standard premium and at the end we will be going to have a little demo where i would be going to show you how you can use the e-discovery solution in your microsoft Purview for office 365 console right so let's quickly jump into the introduction. So e-discovery, which is also known as a electronic discovery, is the process of identifying and delivering the electronic information that can be used as evidence in the legal cases. You can use the e-discovery tool in a Microsoft Purview to search for a content in Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, Microsoft Teams, and Microsoft 365 Groups, and the Yammer teams you can search the mailboxes sites in a same e-discovery search and then export the content founded into the mailboxes and the sites if your organization have an office 365 e5 or m365 e5 subscription you can further manage or analyze the content by using the rich features microsoft preview e-discovery premium solution in m365 so this is what the e-discoveries it's allow you to find a specific content or specific uh, information which you are looking into it because it sometimes become a little bit difficult when you have a tons of emails or tons, tons of mailboxes hosted on m365 or you want to see what those hold you want to see what is the information those mailboxes are holding it right if you need a specific information in a certain legal case going on a one mailboxes and going through with the information would not possible and is a hectic task right now we have a e-discovery solution although this e-discovery solutions was earlier there uh, with the legacy uh, exchange service however this has been moved from Microsoft Exchange to the Microsoft Purview for Office 365 tool. Now we have a three types of discovery solution with uh, Microsoft Purview. One is called a content search, second one e-discovery standard and third one is the e-discovery premium. With the content search, we can search for content, we can search for keyword queries, search conditions, export search results and role-based ac access or uh, role-based permission. That's something we can do within the content search. The next option we have a e-discovery standard. With e-discovery standard, we can get a search and export. We can do a case management and we can do the litig litigation hold or the legal hold on specific e-discovery content. Now the e-discovery premium give us the ads on uh, permission like custodian management, legal or notifications, advanced indexing, review set filtering, tagging, analytics, predicted coding models and so on so these are the basically three solutions which we have is uh, for e-discovery in microsoft purview for m365 or office 365 now the e-discovery standard is a pretty much uh, i can say uh, the, the 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 one of the offering uh, so e-discovery standard in a microsoft purview provide a basic e-discovery tool that organization can use to search export content in m365 and the office 365 you can also use the e-discovery standard to place a e-discovery hold on the content location such as exchange mailboxes sharepoint sites one drives and microsoft teams nothing is needed to deploy e-discovery standard but there are some prerequisites tasks that an it admin and e-discovery manager has to complete it before your organization can start the e-discovery standard to search export and preserve the content so the difference between the office 365 e-discovery and microsoft purview e-discovery is the office 365 e-discovery e is specifically for the mailboxes however the microsoft purview 
for Office 365 or M365 eDiscovery is going around all the M365 solution like SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams, right? So all of those things is there. At the same time, you can also do the eDiscovery hold, which means if there is any specific content which you have found it in the eDiscovery and that is required for your legal work, you can put that complete content on the hold. So in case of any modification or anything is happening, there would be a multiple versions available into for that specific additions or edit is happen into the specific information. The premium one gives us the uh, more premium features. eDiscovery produced premium solution built on existing eDiscovery and analytic capabilities. eDiscovery premium provide an end-to-end -end workflow to preserve, collect, analysis, and review and export the content that's responsive to your organization internal external investigations. It also let legal teams manage the entire legal whole notification workflow to communicate with custodian involved in cases so the standard one is giving you just a few features where you can do a legal hold or you can search the queries however with premium premium one you moreover getting the legal capable uh, sorry the analytic capable analytic capabilities which allow you to do the end-to-end -end workflow do the collection do the analysis do the review review and can help you to export the content also in case of is there any investigation is going on for internal and external now the subscription comparison so if you see uh, there is a specific comparison is there so for the content search you need to have a specific licenses which is displayed on the screen and if you go with the e-discovery standard then there is a standard uh, there's a predefined licenses which you need to have or for the e-discovery premium you need to have a specific license like uh, m365 e5 office 365 e5 e3 with e5 uh, compliance add-on right kind of things license is required to use the e-discovery premium feature so each and every license have assigned a specific uh, feature of the e-discovery right if you want to use a content search only then you need to have these specific licenses like e1 subscription g1 subscription right if your e-discovery standard that something is already there with exchange online plan 2 sharepoint online plan 2 for only for office 365 mailboxes however if you want to go further then you can buy m365 e3 subscriptions to do the standard e discovery right now let's quickly jump into the demo so as i told you there is a two way of doing the legal sorry the e discovery first you can go into your exchange console and click on the classic uh, exchange admin this allow you to do the e discovery on the legacy uh, platform which is this in place e discovery and hold right so here you can do the e discovery and hold so let's take an example you want to do a legal hold so you can say give the name right click on next specify the mailbox or what you can do if you want to do an all mix I'll go and put all also search in a public folder next here you can uh, do the filter based criteria or include all the contents right that's something you can do as of now i'm not a member of discovery feature however i can do the filter based criteria also and then from here i can go ahead and enable the legal hold or a discovery for the specific mailboxes or all the mailboxes so earlier when the legacy system was there in place e discovery or legal hold was there for all the users and can be done for the one console into the legacy system however with this new features you would not be able to find any legal or anything from here if i go here you would not be able to find anything like if you go into the mailbox you would not be able to see anything related to the uh related to the e-discovery and if you go here you would not be able to find anything here even if you go into the organization you would not be able to see if you go into the public folder nothing is there because this has been completely moved right so this has been completely moved into the Microsoft Purview portal. So if you go into the solution, you would be able to find this e-discovery ones, right? So in e-discovery, we have a three features. One is called standard, premium, and user data search. Now, if you go into the user data search, this is what a content search is looks like. Here you can specify the detail, like let's take an example, give it a name. 
can specify who filled it I just say that this is something has been filled by this user and click on save right so this is the case which you can uh, done for uh, user data right and then if you go into the new tab it's a new portal and uh, from here it's going to show you all the re available results which are available for their specific data specific users right so it's taking a little bit of time you can specify for which user you want to see or which user you want to search and what you want to see or what you want to uh, like you want to see the messages you want to see the document everything can be done right you can even specify or change this one right you can create your own new search let's take an example I want to create a new search I can do that as well right so the kind of things I can do and I can save and search for uh, this one so that's kind of uh, the search I can create or, or, or uh, user search I can create the second one is the premium one uh, so the standard one not a premium one that's where I can go ahead and create the case also so here I can specify the name let's take an example a discovery right I can go ahead and create the case and from this case what I can do I can basically define the things right so if you can see e discovery is already there I can go ahead and create the cases for this e discovery I can go into say this case I can specify all this search if I go I want to create a new search I can do that as well so give it a name for search define the location where you want to do the search so let's take an example I wanted to go ahead and do the search on all the uh, location do you want to put everything on a hold I can I can go ahead and do that hold as well then I can specify the conditions what I want to do or either you have a, already have a KQL query written which I can simply paste here right so I can specify the conditions I can do that as well and as soon as I specify the information I can go ahead and create my search for the specific mailboxes or for the specific queries right at the same time same way I can go ahead and create the case for the premium e-discovery as well with the premium e-discovery what we are going to do we are just going to get the premium feature for the analytics right the thing else so we can see more analytic informations right so let's say define the name premium specify the name specify the number if you have any and define the format right and then you can specify the member and setting you can see what are the users need to be part of this discovery you can put all of them if you have any specific group you can do that as well you can put that as well you can specify your search in an analytics count like what are the similar threshold need to be what is the minimum word what are the maximum words group them by theme kind of thing and then you can actual text and regular operations which you want to ignore it right so these kind of things which was not there into the e discovery standard now we have a these kind of analytics uh, way or how we want to search the content or how we want to manage the content right find the text matching into the uh, uh, text in the image during the advanced texting kind of thing you can done right that's simply done you can go ahead and submit it out and as soon as this case is created it will and then you go inside the case and from there you can go ahead and search for the data so as soon as you come into the data you would be able to see what is your custodian looks like what is your communication summary looks like what is the collections uh, you have so all of those collection would be available here like your queries kind of things what are the reviews that you have everything would be available and anything has been put on a hold kind of things you can do from here uh, the processing export anything you want to do you can simply go ahead and do into the going into the premium case so that's something you can do and that's how your e-discovery standard and premium works right so that's it in this demo i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you